Hello and welcome to housebythepool.com. I'm standing on the terrace uh, overlooking one of two communal pools. Housebythepool.com is a registered legal let in Playa Flamenca, South Costa Blanca. Just to give you a quick tour of the property, it is an overcast October day, so I apologise for the lack of sunshine today. But as I said, it is October, but it's still very warm. This is usually a very sunny corner. These are recliner chairs and we have footstools. So you can sit there and sunbathe, lie back if you wish to. This is the main alfresco dining area. Comfortably sits six people. If there are eight guests at the house, we are licensed to take eight people. We could take more, but we chose to limit the license to eight. We do have an additional bistro table which can be used inside or outside as required. Going to the other end of the terrace now. This is set up for winter. Usually the, the big glass table at the end would be more centrally positioned so it could be used in conjunction with the barbecue, which is just here. And just down there, is the parking space for the house, complete with our car. So let's just go into the property now. We just have there a little name tag with our license number. We do have the official plaque inside, which I'll show you at the end. If you come into the lounge, now you probably see in front of us this yellow dinosaur. This is Manuel. Manuel is the house buddy. He has his own Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash Manuel house buddy. And he likes to be taken out with you on your trips. He likes to go out with our younger and not so young guests, have his photograph taken with you on your adventures and post it on the Facebook page. We do also here have a small selection of books, some postcards for you to send home, and in, whoops, sorry about that. inside the dresser is a selection of DVDs, some tourist information, in, um, leaflets, and the PS2 games. This is the dining area. As you can see, the table comfortably sits six people and there's room in front of the dresser to bring in the bistro if needed. Moving into the lounge, just to show you there, we do have ceiling fans and aircon in all rooms. The aircon is hot cold to so usable in summer and winter. And we do have additional panel heaters in the lounge and master bedroom. Selection of CDs, but obviously you can bring your own if you wish to. Selection of games in the storage buffet. And TV with loads of, whoops, sorry about the wobble, with loads of channels um, in English for our guests. We have um, the kitchen here, fully equipped kitchen. This is very much our family's second home, so it is fully equipped. We have the fridge freezer, coffee maker, kettle, microwave, ceramic hob, oven with grill, all the things you would expect in a fully functional kitchen. And additionally, out the window, a view of the pool. You can also see the pool from one of the two lounge windows. The property predominantly faces east, so you get a lot of morning sun on the days when it's sunny. So I'll just uh, show you again there. You can see the pool quite clearly from this window. Heading through the arch into the inner hallway. This is the smallest bedroom. It's set up as a twin room. You can squeeze a cot or a third bed in here if you really want to, but there's ample room upstairs for that. Again, ceiling fans and hot cold aircon. The 
view of the pool and the barbecue out the window and ample storage. Here we have the downstairs shower room. Not a lot to show there, but it's just a small bathroom, very echoey. With an easy access shower for anybody who may have mobility issues. So we'll just head up the stairs. Standard stairs for Spain. There's a lot of them and they're marble because we have very high ceilings here. So about 17 stairs per floor. Keeps you fit. And here we are on the first floor landing and going into the larger of the twin rooms. This is the second bedroom. Often set up with three room, three, three rooms, three beds, um, because there is plenty of room for the additional bed or a cot in this room. Again, ceiling fans and air con and a viewer's pool. Plenty of storage. and round and into the master bedroom. Again, a good size room. That is a king size bed. Room here again for a cot or an additional bed. Ceiling fan and aircon unit. Plenty of storage. And this room has its own balcony. With the all important view of the communal pool. We do have a travel cot and a high chair available for families who would like to use one. And round here into the main family bathroom. Quick with everything you'd expect in a bathroom. Not a lot to say about a bathroom, um, except it's very functional, has everything you need. Full size bath with shower over, video toilet and vanity unit. Also on this landing is the utility cupboard. Just open that so you can see it's a hot water tank, but more importantly for our guests, a full size family washing machine it takes a six kg load. Heading up the stairs, so there's a lot of stairs. That's just an additional uh, dryer for washing. Coming out onto the solarium. Now, it's a very overcast day today, so I'm not sure you can see there, but there is a, a partial sea view between the rooftops there. It's blurring into the clouds today, but usually much more defined. Of course, the important view of the pool. There is a second pool, which if I just move over to here, you may be able to see just in the distance there between those houses, you can just see the corner of it. The pool nearest the house is the family pool. It has a very large shallow end. I'm five foot one and I can comfortably stand in two thirds of that pool. This is the outside lounge. Great to come up for an evening drink, but if you wish to be up here during the day, there is a sunshade and some sun lounges. Satellite dish, not terribly attractive, but it serves a very good purpose and does give us all those TV channels. Coming back into the stairwell, it's goosey echo. It's very, very echoey in the stairwell. Coming back down the stairs to the first landing, 
with the family bathroom, master bedroom, and the second bedroom. And down the stairs again. This door wasn't very well lit at night. And there is a handrail. Just to show you, there are also curtains that can be pulled across these arches. So if somebody does wish to have a guest bed in the lounge, they can have privacy. And down to the downstairs shower room, third bedroom, back into the lounge diner. And I mentioned earlier about the importance of being a registered holiday let. And here is that all important certificate and plaque. That is the official plaque. All holiday lets should display that information. If they are not registered, to be perfectly frank, you shouldn't be staying there. Not just because it's an illegal let, but no, <laughs> the birds are a bit noisy. Um, but simply because no insurance company will cover you should you be involved in an accident because it's not a legally let property. Community insurance also does not cover legally illegally let properties. So there you have it, housebythepool.com. Take a look at our website. If you think you and your family would enjoy a holiday here, and get in touch, housebythepool.com. Thank you.